watch the floor might be a little slick as you're walking in. Come on in. Talk about the koala and the uh, bedongs. Obviously the female koala is up there. Her name's Ruwalan and she's eight and a half. Now those two little bedongs I was telling you about, they should be right here. You know, we do have our keeper talks and this is kind of like a keeper talk on steroids, I guess, you know, I mean, that people actually get to come in. It's a whole different experience when you get to come in and smell the building and, you know, actually get to touch them and things like that. And we can't do that for everybody that comes to the zoo, but we can do it for the ones that want that experience. A lot of people think our job is just playing with animals. And I think just the kind of the work involved, I don't know if I want to say like the science behind it, but you know, the fact that it's not just cuddling animals eight hours a day, which would be great, but it's not. <laughs> Poor Josh didn't really want to clean and got stuck doing a little bit more work than he wanted to do, but I feel like this is their time and if they want to, they want to help, that's fine. And a lot of people do and some people don't, so. Our job is to teach you to be responsible adults and to be, you know, have skills that you can use in the world. I don't think they realize that these jobs that they dream in their heads that there's going to be work involved in that cleaning their room and washing the dishes is going yeah. to be a skill that's going to come in handy.